On this Millennial Review, we're talking about a pretty cool new toy for Milwaukee. This is their new soldering iron that fits on to the uh, M12 lineup from them. So this is part number 2488-20, and it allows for a wireless uh, soldering iron, which is a pretty cool idea. Now, as we pull it out of the package, uh, it's pretty cool looking. So I'm gonna mess around with this here for just a second, see what we got going on. But it's got on off switch right there. So you can press that up. It's gonna turn it on and off. On the side, you've got a little button to adjust the angle that this is going to, uh, to be running on. And so that means you can operate like a standard soldering iron, press that over, get a pretty good angle uh, looks nice. Now you've got rubberized grip to it and we've got a little uh, wedge tip there as well. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and plug this in and I've got a bit of a uh, project to cross over some new connectors on some remote control cars. So we'll get a chance to be able to put this to the test and see exactly what we think about it. So let me go ahead and set this up and we'll check it out together. All right, so I've been using this soldering iron now for a couple of months or so, and it, uh, for the most part, has been a nice and very useful tool for me to have. Now, I do like the fact that you can do some soldering wirelessly, although you do pay the price in voltage and power, and I believe uh, that's something we should talk about a bit. Uh, the other thing that you definitely pay the price on is if you take a look at the tip, uh, it's gotten a little extra corrosion around the collet uh, where you can unscrew this to take the tip on and off. And I think some of that is just from the flux coming down and the material not being as high a quality as you would uh, otherwise think. Now, this particular tool is nice because you can have it straight out. You can adjust the angle based on what you need. And even on, on camera, I'm able to do that single-handed. And the fit and finish of this little guy is pretty nice. I mean, just like all the other Milwaukee tools uh, that you probably have and I have, it's pretty good. Now, when I talk about the power, so this going off and on in uh, just that short little run video that I showed, the lights down there, you could see it was flashing. And that's because the little, you know, one and a half amp hour batteries that uh, you have for most of these little guys. That's because all the little one and a half amp hour batteries that I have uh, thrown in my, uh, my bags, even the two amp hour ones, those really run out quickly. I mean, effectively, what you're doing with a soldering iron is you're creating a short, uh, burning out all that electricity. That turns into heat. And of course, you're paying for that with a lot of electrical consumption. Now, the XC batteries, those definitely last a little bit longer, but it's a small price to pay. The other thing that's a bit of a small price to pay is uh, when you compare this to a standard you know, plug-in soldering iron station, this is never gonna get anywhere near as hot. So some of the finer electronics you have to be real careful with because if this isn't getting hot enough to be able to, uh, because if this isn't getting hot enough to be able to solder those quickly, what you can end up doing is carrying too much heat down to the electronics and causing a problem. So for simplistic, uh, soldering, this is a dream. If you're going to do some fine tuning, definitely you're going to want a soldering station. But then again, you probably wouldn't be buying this M12 soldering iron if that was going to be the case. What you'd be doing is getting this, throwing it in your bag with all the other Milwaukee crap that you carry to the job site, take with you, and in fact, be able to know 
for certain that you have an opportunity to solder if you need to. Well, anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. A uh, bit difficult to show how something like this works, but leave me some comments down in the comment section below. And also, if you want one of these for you, which I definitely recommend having this as a spare to go along with all your other crap, then uh, I got a link down in the description below.